Okay, folks, so this is number four. And once again, I'm going to go to New. I'm going to pick Standard IPT, Create. And I'm going to build this one from the bottom up once Inventor decides to load. Any day now. There we go. So I'm going to go home. And this time I'm going to draw on the top plane. So I'm going to click the plus sign next to Origin. And I'm going to click XZ and start 2D sketch. And I'm going to draw the bottom part of this thing that looks like something like this. And remember, if you ever have lines that do not connect, don't add a line, use extend. Okay, and then use trim to get anything that's hanging off the end. So the dimension for this is 2.25. The dimension for this is 0.75 plus 0.75, which is 1.5. And then this is 1.25. It doesn't tell me what this line is, but it does give me an angle measurement here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do an angle. When you're in dimension, click this line. Click the line adjacent to it. And notice now I have an angle. I can pull the angle out here, and I know that it's supposed to be 45. Finish the sketch, and I'm going to extrude this up 0.5. Now I'm going to put a sketch on top of it, and I'm going to build that um, rectangular shape that eventually gets cut that's at the on top. I'm going to use rectangle to do that because I'm kind of lazy. Right. And now I'm going to dimension that rectangle. And the width is 0.75. And the length is 1.25. And I'm going to finish that sketch. I'm going to extrude this up one inch. And now I have almost a number four. Now I'm going to put a, uh, a sketch on this plane and I'm going to cut away uh, the part that I don't want. So start 2D sketch, click here, put it back on the screen, do project cut edges on this one, it'll make your life a little bit easier. Click line, I'm going to make the line stick out of the object and then come back and trim it. And then I'm going to dimension from that point to that point. 0.5 from here to here. There we go. That's going to be 0.5. Finish the sketch. Extrude this part with a cut. 0.75. And there's the model. I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to click on the I, New, PLTWA, Create, project name is Practice, please type in your actual name for your name, and the file name is whatever you want it to be, tell it OK, Base View, click here. Your front view should look like my front view. Right click create and then double click on this guy, turn on the, the blue and then you can print it.